All right. This is what you all have been waiting for. In this video, I'm going to explain how to actually write the integrated essay. Now that you understand both the reading and lecture materials, it's time to start writing your essay, but maybe you don't know where to begin. That's okay, don't freak out, just follow these instructions and you'll be just fine. Before we begin to write, we must understand a few rules. Now these rules are based on the scoring guide ETS has provided, and we'll take a look at that in the next video. But for now, try to follow along as closely as you can. If you're having trouble, remember, you can play back these at any time and watch them as many times as you wish. Okay, here are the rules. You must frame the issue. To do that, you need to include a few things in your first paragraph, or what's called the introduction. You need the main topic from both the reading and the lecture. In our example from the previous video, this was ethanol. You must include the connection between the lecture and the article. Remember when I said that the reading and lecture will always disagree. Well, that is your connection. You must also write the main idea from both the reading and the lecture. Okay, you understand that you have to frame the issue. That you have to include the topic, the connection between the lecture and the reading, and write the main idea from both. But what does that look like in writing? Now, this is secret information that I'm about to share with you. So don't tell just anyone but be sure to pay close attention. Actually, it's better if you write down and memorize what I'm about to show you. Here are a few different examples of the introduction to your essay. One, in this set of materials, both the reading and lecture discuss the topic of ethanol. While the reading suggests that it is not a practical replacement for gasoline, the lecture disagrees for three reasons. Number two, both the lecture and the reading discuss ethanol and whether it is a good replacement for gasoline. The reading states that it is not a good replacement for gasoline. However, the lecture states that it is a good replacement for three reasons. Number three, the reading and lecture discuss whether ethanol is a good replacement for gasoline. The author states that it is not, however, the lecturer disagrees, stating that it is a good replacement for gasoline. Now let's look at these examples to see if they fit our rules. Does it tell us the topic? Yes. Does it tell us the connection between the article and the lecture? Well, yes. Does it contain the major ideas from both the reading and the lecture? Yes. So, you have now successfully framed the issue. Here's an example essay. Notice the introduction we just talked about here. Now you must begin to write the body of the essay. To do this, you must remember the three reasons the author and lecturer stated. If you remember from video two, the reasons from the reading and the lecture matched up one, two, and three. The only thing about them was that they were in opposition to each other. Basically, they disagreed with each other even though they talked about the same topic. Your job is to match the first reason from the reading to its opposing reason from the lecture and then support that with one or two details from the lecture. For example, to begin, the reading states that making ethanol from corn means that there will be less food for the world's hungry. However, the lecture disagrees, stating that it is not true. In reality, the lecture states that hunger in the world is caused by unstable governments, war, and no transportation. Therefore, the lecture believes that ethanol won't take any food away from people around the world. Now match the second reason from the reading to its opposing reasons from the lecture. For example, 
Next, the reading is against using ethanol because it will harm the environment because corn is very damaging to the earth's soil. The lecture counters this argument by stating that even though corn is damaging to the soil, new ways to grow corn have reduced soil erosion. So the lecturer believes that it won't be as damaging to the environment as the reading suggests. Now do the same for the third. Remember that you must focus on the lecture in most of your paragraph. Writing too much about the reading will lower your score to a 10 out of 30. Take a look here at how much of this paragraph focuses on the lecture. The reading is mentioned briefly at the beginning, but the rest of the paragraph focuses on the lecture. In order to score a full 30 on this task, your body paragraphs must include the reading and lecture. But your body paragraphs must focus on the lecture. You must also use at least one or two details from the lecture as support in your paragraph. Here's our example from above. See if it covers everything we talked about. For the conclusion, just restate your introduction. For example, in conclusion, while the reading states that ethanol is not a good replacement for gasoline, the lecture disagrees, stating that it is. Well, you have now successfully written your integrated essay and are on your way to improving your score. One final note, while following these steps will help you improve your score, you still need to write with proper grammar. Some grammatical errors are acceptable, like singular plural mistakes, and some spelling mistakes. However, if your grammar makes it difficult to understand your writing, your score will be greatly reduced. The best thing to do is to practice and have someone, like myself, look at your essays, grade them, and give you some feedback. Okay, that's it for this video. In the next video, we're going to talk about how to write the independent essay.